Hey guys, Ziamaro here. Today I'm going to be giving you yet another Counter-Strike Global Offensive tutorial. Today I'm going to be covering how to find the perfect crosshair for you. A few people have asked me what crosshair I use and how I got it, and I'll give you a link in the description how to get that. But mainly I'm going to be covering how to make your own custom crosshair. There's actually a very good map that I've found, and some of you may not be aware of it yet, so I'm going to be showing you that. So to get it, you go to play, then offline with bots. If you go to the workshop here, it's called Crash's Crosshair Generator Plus. So what you want to do is click View Workshop there and put in, you might be able to just put in Crashes. Let's see if that works. There we go, comes up second. So yeah, you want to subscribe to this. You just click the subscribe button there and then you should find it here. So let's go into that. So, this is what the map looks like. As you can see over here, there's a picture of Dust2, which allows you to see how the crosshair looks on different backgrounds. You can shoot at these here if you want to change the picture to see how it looks on a different map. If you want to get started quickly, I'd recommend coming over to this wall here. Now, as you can see, it's got all these different names of professional players. And if you like a particular crosshair that you see here, you can literally just shoot at it and it will change to their crosshair, so you can switch to loads of different ones here. And if you're happy with that, then you can just quit here, and that's it, saved, automatically. Now if you're like me, you may want to change it a little bit to suit your needs. Now personally, I like Shroud's crosshair, because I like this white crosshair with a black outline, because it's visible on anything, like very clearly visible. Now what you can do is you can come over here, and you can fine-tune stuff. So you have all the different styles, like you have style zero, which is the default crosshair, which I would absolutely recommend not using. Nobody should use this crosshair. Now the one that I use is style two, the classic dynamic, which differs slightly from shrouds. I keep it exactly the same as shrouds, except I changed this classic dynamic. Uh, yes, classic dynamic. Okay, uh, but what a lot of people seem to use is classic static, where it doesn't, the crosshair doesn't move at all when you shoot. As you can see, like, look at the difference, like, when I shoot, it opens up a bit and then closes again. If you want to fine-tune it a bit further, what you can do is you can click on gap if you want to increase or decrease the gap in the crosshair. As you can see, it's wider or narrow. You can give it a dot if you want, get rid of the dot. And there's all these different things, just, just try them out. Thickness, don't know why you'd want a crosshair like that, but whatever. Um, and yeah, just, just play around. If there's a crosshair you like over here, then go with that. Then we'll fine tune it over here. But really, it's, it's all down to personal preference. I mean, these are all professional players and look how different all their crosshairs are. The only thing to stay away from is that this one. That's rubbish. Really, really rubbish. I hope this tutorial has been helpful. I'll link the crosshair that I use in the description. If you found the tutorial helpful, don't forget to subscribe. And if there's anything else you'd like me to cover, then just leave a comment, let me know. But until next time, cheers.